up guys? So today we are going to get the cooling system knocked out on the Datsun. Uh, we did do a rear mount radiator, so we're gonna use Dash 16 lines and fittings uh, to make all that possible. And I have to say thank you all for subscribing. We just rolled over 500 maybe a week or two ago, so I'm a little late to the party, but I think I'm gonna do a giveaway video maybe next week or the following so stay tuned for all that and here we go we did get these hose barbs cut off and these AN16 bungs welded on through Langley welding service out of Arlington so I'll definitely leave their information in the description below because these guys killed it and they turned this thing around in less than a day so huge shout out to those guys I was actually dreading trying to find someone to weld you know these aluminum bungs on there and we're gonna use these energy suspension sway bar in link bushings to mount the radiator so that should all work out just fine we got this ICT billet heater core bypass hose couple bulkheads for the firewall all the dash 16 fittings which these guys are huge I don't know if y'all can tell on camera but these yeah they're huge water neck housing or thermostat housing going to dash 16 a new thermostat uh, and this is going to be for the water neck this is kind of a janky way of doing it but we're going to use this hose barb to go to the hose barb on the water neck right there and we're going to use this piece of hose just to adapt the two so that's it's kind of janky but uh, whatever um, this is like a swirl pot or it gets like the air or steam out of your cooling system I don't know if we're gonna use this but we're definitely gonna use this overflow tank so here we go oh also all the all the line the dash 16 line from Jags it was actually decently priced from Jags and we got 30 feet of it so that should be plenty shop well he cut the hole but I bought the AC unit and stuffed it in there so it is much better in here try to turn these down to try to hide them but man right on the front of the motor that thing looks looks pretty bad I should have got I should have went with a different option but I guess we can always change that out because uh, I do have another AN16 bung maybe we can get a another water pump and get that welded on but did y'all see how much clearance we don't have on this like just barely so I don't even know if the fitting is gonna fit on this it might rub against this belt but I guess we're gonna find out. All right, that's the best I got for now. Yeah, I don't know, whatever. So let's see if we can get this 180 on here. Well, it clears the belt, so that's good. I mean, I guess if anything, we could just get a 
a smaller belt because the tensioner actually pushes this alternator up and over so if we get a smaller belt we won't have to have it so far to the left we'll give a little bit more clearance down here but I mean it fits let's see what this top one's gonna look like Alright guys, well, we can chalk this one up as a fail. I tried three different times, kept cutting off, you know, ends of the hose to get a new clean edge where the nylon wasn't all frayed because that's really hard to get it to seat down in there. Um, but these, these aren't working. So I tried a couple different options off camera just to see what was going on. I even tried not putting the hose all the way up to this inside lip right down in there it still wouldn't go together and when I did try to get it to thread uh, it started to cross thread it was also pushing the hose out the end of this fitting so that's kind of a fail uh, these are cheap Amazon fittings so I'm gonna say don't don't buy these you know, probably the ones on eBay are the same way. Uh, don't cheap out on your AN fittings or your AN line. Like, I've, I've seen the reviews on the AN lines that you get from eBay and Amazon, and they're all bad. Um, but, yeah, these, these fittings aren't going to work. I did get all new fittings ordered from Jags. They had the best price on Dash 16 fittings. Um, and you know the silver lining on this is it failed on the bench and not on the first drive so that's how we're gonna look at it um, keep things positive and thanks for subscribing thanks for watching we will see y'all next time peace